In our previous sessions, we said that if a supply is to be considered a taxable supply, it is supposed to have been made in Uganda. So what does it mean for a supply to be, you know, to, to, to have been made in Uganda? We, we are going to discuss this, what it means when it is for goods and what it means when it is for services. about when it is goods involved. If goods have been made available in Uganda, then that is going to be considered a supply in Uganda. Of course, there is when you are buying goods within the country. If you're buying the goods within Uganda, it means the supply has been made available in Uganda. So it's going to be considered a supply made in Uganda for VAT purposes. If we are having import of goods coming in, you know, goods are coming in from China, from US, whatever country, as long as they are being made available in Uganda, it is going to be considered a supply of goods in Uganda for VAT purposes. Let's say goods, um, there is, they involve transportation. Let's say there is transportation of goods. Let's say goods are leaving Uganda and they are going to another country outside. Maybe goods are leaving here and they are going to Dubai. Is that also going to be considered a supply made in Uganda? Yes, it is. So if goods are leaving, if there is, the, the, the goods involve transportation and uh, they are leaving Uganda to move to another country, that too is going to be considered a supply that has been made in Uganda. So those are the two variations. Uh, for it to be considered a supply made in Uganda, the goods must be have, they must have been made available in Uganda. So it is considered a supply made in Uganda for VAT purposes. And uh, that is for, for example, imports. And of course, plus local purchases here. Then if it involves transportation and these goods are to be transported out of the country, the mere fact that they are originating from here and they are being taken out of the country, they are also considered a supply of goods um, in Uganda. The supply is considered to have been made in Uganda for VAT purposes. And in this case, we are talking about exports. So that's it for goods. Let's talk about uh, services. So the supply of service is going to be considered to have been made in Uganda if the person giving the service is doing it from Uganda. We do not care whether the persons consuming the service are in Uganda or they are in Kenya or they are in South Africa or any part of the world. As long as the service is being executed from here, it is considered a, it is considered a supply that has been made in Uganda for VAT purposes. It's very important that you understand uh, the place of supply because like we had earlier discussed, uh, a taxable supply for it to be qualified for it to qualify to be a taxable supply it is supposed to have been made in Uganda now you understand for both goods and services what it means for a supply to have been made in Uganda for it to qualify to be a taxable supply for VAT purposes thank you for watching I'll catch you in the next session